All right, well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the first video of Unit 1, which is all about understanding place value. And if you look at the top of this video up here, we have something called an objective. An objective is kind of like the thing that you, your goal of what you want to learn by the end of this video and practice on in the practice problems. Now, with this objective, we want to understand what the base 10 system is and how it relates to place value value okay so to get started on that let's just look at the number one okay the number one we're gonna call that a one digit number okay because the number one only has one number in it okay there's more than one one digit number another example of a one digit number could be three or the number seven is a one digit number or the number two is a one digit number and number eight is a one digit number or the number five these are all one digit numbers because there's only one digit in here okay the smallest one digit number is one the largest one digit number and just put dot 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 is what nine because after nine we go up to what exactly we go up to ten which is our next Part, our two-digit number. 10 is our smallest two-digit number. There's a bunch of two-digit numbers though because the number 75 is a two-digit number. The number 61 is a two-digit number. The number 15 is a two-digit number. The number uh, 82 is a two-digit number. Okay, so the smallest two-digit number is 10. What's the biggest two-digit number? It's gonna be 99. Okay, so if our biggest two-digit number is 99, what's our smallest three-digit number? It's going to be 100, right? Because the next one right after 99 is 100. So let's call this three-digit number. There's a lot of examples of three-digit numbers, a bunch of examples. Let's say 515. Let's say 364. We can say 101 is an example of a three-digit number. All these are three-digit numbers because each one of these numbers has three individual numbers. But we don't want to say this number has three numbers because that could be confusing. We're going to say this number has three digits. Okay, Each individual one is called a digit. So if our smallest three-digit number is 100, what's our biggest three-digit number? Well, let's say 999. So one more after 999 is going to give us what? It's going to give us 1,000. Okay, 1,000 is our smallest four-digit number. What are some other four-digit numbers? We have uh, 5,621. We have 8,212. We can put a little commas. We'll explain the commas in a couple of videos why we have them. Um, but what is our last four-digit uh, four number? 9,999, right? Okay, so. If 9,999 is our last four-digit number, one more number one after that is going to be 10,000. Let me put a little comma right here because that should be right there. 10,000. 10,000 is our smallest five-digit number. Okay, there's a lot of five-digit numbers, a bunch of five-digit numbers probably. 12,361 or 15,339 or 85,412. These are all five-digit numbers, okay? So what the pattern, if you see it here, is to get from one a one-digit number to a two-digit number, how many ones do you need to get 10? Well, you need 10 of them, right? Let's say times 10. How many tens do you need to get to 100? To get from this two digit number to this three digit number, how many tens do you need? Well, 10 times 10 gives me 100, so times 10. How many hundreds do you need to get 1,000? Well, I need 10 hundreds to get 1,000. How many thousands do you need to get 10,000? Well, I need 10 of them times 10. The base 10 system, base 10 system says to get from a one digit number to a two digit number you have to multiply by 10 or to get from to tens place to a hundred place it's times 10. Each time you go up a new digit it's 10 times bigger. Okay, And just in the same way if I wanted to go from 10,000 down to a thousand what's the opposite of times 10? Well divide by 10. How many how many, I, what, to get from 1,000 to 100, what I have to do? 
Well, I have to divide by 10. To get from 100 to 10, what do I have to do? I have to divide by 10. And to get from 10 to 1, what do I have to do? Divide by 10, okay? That's the basis of the base 10 system, and it's gonna, you're gonna understand how this relates to place value in one of our next videos. To give you a little bit of a visual here, we've done this with base 10 blocks. This represents one right here. How many ones do you need to get to the next base 10 block? Well, I need 10 ones to get a 10. How many tens do you need to get to the next base 10 block? Well, I need 10 of these tens to get to 100. If we had that big square block that was 10 of these, you would be, need 10 of them to make 1,000. So that's where the why they call them base 10 blocks.